No, no. The topic for today has been chosen to be something related, something related from last stream. And you could say, oh, Markovs, what was last stream? I'm glad you didn't ask, and I asked. It was about Breen cast. Breen, mostly about Dr. Breen and why he was a victim. A victim of a system far greater than our brains could even comprehend. And that system, we figured, we figured it out, that everything boils down to him wanting to sac not sacrifice, but preserve the human race. That is what we came down to. That is what we figured out. All right. Okay. The Combine. The Combine is actually called the Universal Union. What, what is the Universal Union, right? Universal Union is the official name that the Combine actually has. The Combine is something that humans use to pretty much simplify the concept they can't really understand with their brains. I'm, am I insulting everybody at this moment in time? No, I'm not insulting anybody, all right? Because, hear me out, humans tend to over, try and oversimplify things they don't understand. They try to imagine things that uh, pretty much explain, pretty much explain what things could be, what things should be, even if they're not. So the combine is a, a way to explain everything that's being combined in this one single entity, which is this new, is it even intergalactic? Let me just check if it's the word is intergalactic. What is this? What? We've made the context that universal union is the combine. And when I say Universal Union, you wouldn't be like, what is he talking about? What Universal Union? Did I make go to wrong stream? He's babbling. It is some kind of hidden advertising. It's like merchandise. I don't want merchandise. I want combine. Okay, okay. So now you understand that the combine is Universal Union. Pretty neat, right? Nuts, nuts. We need the context before we get to Earth and its degrading situation of wretched extinction no more cows no more chickens no more well birds are pretty much prevalent but no more meat no more cheese people dream about cheese in this world you get it can, can you even uh, imagine waking up and remembering your dream about damn cheese do you know how much things must have went to hell for you to dream about cheese and this is a, it's like, I can go to shop right now and have cheese and be so happy. Be Chat, would you rather have no suppression fear or cheese? Which of the two will you choose? First of all, no suppression fear means bad stuff. Suppression fear means it don't matter, right? Freedom. You can do it however much you want. Cheese, on the other hand. With it or without it, you're losing a lot. Without it, of course. Nevertheless, let's leave the cheese alone. So you have this giant empire which is in the, the deep, deep uh, length of space. It's somewhere out there within the galaxy, far, far away, requiring portal technology to travel from... Uh, how can I... Okay, two hands. Two hands from one point to another point. So the, the, the space between these points is so big that they understand that it's pointless to try and actually travel through, through the sp space vacuum, but it's way more efficient to use teleportation. The problem with the Combine is that their teleportation is kind of limited because they can go only forward, but they can go back, which means the moment they go forward, that party of a war band, the political party, ain't coming back. So, rush B or rush A, but no going back, no retreat, no surrender. Only time you surrender is when you go drop get on floor. Rush B, you never look back. I just quoted Smigo, by the way, uh, if anybody noticed. So the combine goes from point A to point B. Yeah, yeah, no C, no, 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 no C. The only A B. What? So you have the intergalactic, 
I'm not sure if it's intergalactic, this empire, galactical empire, which is, which is, this is very important because somebody brought it up last time. If that someone is here right now, say, I did it. But if you say, I did it, if I don't remember who, that if it was you, anyone say, can say, I did, they did it. So don't, people don't take advantage of my memory. The combined civilization is a type, give me a second. I think I actually noted that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it is. So there is this Kar Kardashev uh, scale. What is a Kardashev scale, chat? In order for us to get deeper, deeper into the bowels of understanding. So Kardashev scale is a measurement. It's like you've got a ruler, right? And you've got one centimeter or one yard to 50,000 yards or one centimeter to 20 centimeters. And that's the scale. And if we're going to measure like a, a ruler, you have a ruler, right? And you have humanity on the on zero, on one or zero centimeters. The combine are around 10 centimeters. So they're bigger. They're bigger than humans, all right? They're bigger. That's it. Which uh, in the Kardashian scale is considered a type two. A type two, which means that they can control, yeah, multitude of planets around the sun. A stellar, stellar civilization, yeah? So they can control all that and harvest the resources. Get the efficiency out of the resources of the stellar system, which is all the planets around the sun, including the sun. Which means they can build a Dyson Sphere. You guys know what's a Dyson Sphere? Come on, you've seen Guzgoziat. So they build a Dyson Sphere around the sun and collect its energy. That's what the Combine are able to do. That's what they're doing. Uh, what do you think they get their energy from? Uh, old dinosaur bones or disgusting oil or wood? Of course they don't waste the time with that. They collect some. They collect some. And those resources they collect, it benefits the empire. But the empire is so big, it's so big, that they need an incredible amount of resources. And the only way to get them, the only way to fuel, to put wood in the stove, to make it crazier, make it cozier in this dark and uh, cold place that is the universe. They need a lot of resources, which means they cannot really be empathic to some <laughs> monkeys. Can, can, do you, you get it? It's like we're these monkeys, which in, by the way, we are actually devastating forests on this damn earth where monkeys live. Monkeys live and we're destroying forests and this and that. So we're pretty much doing what the combine would be doing to us. How is it any different? Windows update. No! No, chat. Windows update. Is this a joke? Last time I had a Windows update, my whole computer crashed and I had to reinstall the OS. So now we've explored why humanity is acting not much that different than... The combined empire you have this incredibly big empire so you understand that this empire is huge this empire is huge it needs a lot of resources to sustain itself it understands that if it doesn't harvest more of the resources then it on itself might collapse it might stop existing because there's not enough fuel to keep the car going if there is not enough fuel to keep food on the table. People go crazy when there is no longer food on the table. We've seen it happen. Three days without food is something that is able to bring forth the worst in a person. All right? So this combine is constantly do, 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 cha -gun, cha -gun, constantly burning that fuel to sustain its incredible vastness. Just think of how many species need to be controlled, need to be uh, advised. And then you have humanity, a, a small planet in the middle of nowhere, which is ripe for the harvesting, ripe for taking the water, which is a very valuable resource. You think the combine don't need water? They don't they need sustenance? And, they, and they, what do they see? They see that... Uh, waste of resources, they see war, mismanagement. So Black Mesa was completely devastated from the face of the earth. So the Combine manages to finally get a link to Zen, this is a canon, and they notice that all of this trash is happening on earth, radiation poisoning, 
climate change and all that, they're already disrupting the Earth's ability to sustain itself. So combine come from space and they see all these bad stuff happening on Earth and they be like, oh my God, we've got to deliver them. We've got to bring them to our ranks. We've got to see if they are worthy of the empire. They are already destroying themselves. They are having regional wars. They are having uh, nuclear disasters. They are mismanaging resources and are making electric electricity like idiots. What is this? They are burning fossil fuels. Why are you burning fossil fuels? Why not take the energy of star and turn it into your source of electricity why don't you use a core like a very contained core of a little star and use it as electricity but no they make bombs they burn large amounts of coal they burn large amounts of wood to for what for polluting the atmosphere for now they see earth and they're like what are those guys doing they're killing themselves <laughs> you see somebody in the uh, that they're harming themselves, what you gonna do? You're gonna go there and you're gonna try and help out, right? What, are you just gonna leave them to keep killing each other? You think something's wrong and you try and help and the only way you can help is through practical experience and it's if you just uh, come to Earth and say, Hello! Hello! We come in peace! What do you think, they might not just destroy the come in peace party? They've already proven to be a hostile species by their actions. They've invaded Zen. Humanity invaded Zen. Why do you think Nihilanth uh, invaded Earth? Because Zen was invaded by Earth. They were stealing his crystals, yo. Nihilanth was like, stop stealing my crystals because they just, humans keep stealing and <laughs> researching crystals. What's that? Researching? Is that some kind of keyword for collecting oil? With the symbiosis of man and machine, you achieve immortality. You lose your identity, but you become a part of the ant colony. In this case, it's the space ant colony. You think about space ants, don't think about that movie with the giant ants where like space marines kill them, but they want to acquisition us. They want to make us worthy. They will make us, make us worthy of joining Combine Empire because they cannot just accept monkeys that they're gonna start killing each other again inside the empire. What are they gonna give them the tools to uh, sustain a Dyson Sphere? Human monkeys? What if they uh, c establish clans and tribes on that goddamn Dyson Sphere and destroy it all? Because humans are able to do that. Make stupid sacrifices just to preserve the self in a selfish manner. Example, tyranny and dictators. Isn't that exactly a very nice example? I don't, I don't want to give uh, practical historical proof. People make stupid decisions when it's based for themselves. So if you give them control over a colony which has a, res a central, very dangerous resource that's being used as energy, they would detonate that if that means that they would not lose what they have. Even if they lose all control by destroying themselves. That's what a human could do, and would do, and has done. If the Combine invades Earth, that is my only salvation. Because since we're running on fossil fuels, they're gonna break things there on the electricity factory, and I'm gonna get a spike of voltage that's gonna fry everything up, and cause a giant fire that burns through cement, and melts through titanium. See a radiation hazard? I'm not sure if you're gonna have fun in office shift, but remember, it can never be worse than Black Mesa. So we were talking about the Combain Empire, how they're a type 2 civilization, how they need resources, how they, they saw like Zen, they took it back because they want Zen a lot because those crystals are very, very efficient. And then they see Earth, bombs, they're destroying themselves and they'd be like, okay, we want to help them out, we want to ascend them. We want to see if they're worthy of ascension. We want to see if these monkeys can be saved. What do you, how do you think space pirates would look like? I'm kind of curious. The universal unions, aka the combines, goal is to bring stability and prosperity to the empire. The empire requires a lot of catering, a lot of control. That's why you have advisors that are overseeing 
the extraction of resources, the management of planets, is because they need to stop the chaos from spreading. Because they've experienced war, they know about the tribulations of monkey. Monkey see, monkey do. You hit monkey, monkey blow up planet, you piece of sh They understand the nature of self-destruction and they want to reduce it as much as possible because the universe, the universe doesn't have space for any more mistakes. This civilization has probably experienced a lot of downtime, a lot of downfall, a lot of problems, but they've managed to finally find a way to stop the chaos, even if they stop the chaos by bringing chaos and then order. But if you can make the change with force and then actually enforce the end of chaos, then if you, you're never a hypocrite, the chaos can never return. Unless some bloody employers send Gordon Freeman to Earth, unless they send him to Earth to make more chaos. That is when the, the other party comes, when it's, it's sabotaging. It's sabotaging the made progress just because of a hidden agenda. And you can't really plan against such sabotage. How can the combine plan that these benefactors are going to send in rogue entities which are going to cause so much destruction? They can't know that, right? Human, the negative guy say, human dump combine smart. <laughs> yeah. So we understand that the Combine's goal is prosperity, efficiency, and those goals will be met no matter, no matter the cost. They need to bring order to the universe. They need to save the resources that are already there. Because if we believe in, en I don't know, I think it's entropy or something like that, it's that our universe is dying. Everything there is and will be is already there and one way or another we're gonna live in a cold place as trillions or billions or kajillions of years pass by and if the combine understands that destruction is inevitable in the future they will take whatever is necessary to preserve themselves and the empire for as long as damn possible and if that's gonna be infringing on the the rights and morality, made-up morality of humanity, they will, they will transgress that and they will save humans from themselves because humans will be enabled to ascend with the pace they're going because the Combine's first impression is these monkeys have nuclear warheads, they have the ability to destroy their whole planet so what are we just gonna stand there and let it happen? Are we just gonna stand there and be like, okay, the big deal, I don't care. Let them figure it themselves out. No, you're gonna go there and you're gonna grab him by the wrist and smack him to the table and tell it, you bad, stop it. Stop doing this. <laughs> Slap five, ten times. Stop doing this. You're harming yourself. You're harming the people around you. Get a grip. And ascend, ascend, we're gonna give you the choice, we're gonna give you the tutorial, 10 steps to uh, ascend civilization and not destroy planet. Ten, step number one, stop being monkey, okay? Step number two, stop making monkey sounds. Step number three, stop throwing your feces around everyone, all right? All right? Mjolnir, haha! Hey, hey, humanity is just proving itself time and time again that it's incapable of not destroying stuff. Yeah, Gordon Freeman destroyed the Citadel, so they gave them a incredibly versatile and powerful object of power, because the Citadel had an incredibly sophisticated core, and they blew it up. Humanity just blowing everything they touched, bloody hell damn it. It's like Freeman just keeps destroying stuff, and humanity is just failing time and time again, and Breen's like, oh, we can deliver a monkey to... Universal Union, we can become civil uh, citizens of Universal Union. Meanwhile, Freeman comes to City 17 and starts uh, inciting riots and blows up the Citadel. <laughs> the Combine understands that if they don't save the resources which Monkey is gonna waste, then those resources would be lost, and by that definition, they will have less time in the universe. Even if it's selfish of them to do that, they are giving humanity a choice to join in the union, okay? 
it's still, in a way, they're trying to save humanity with those actions. Because with control, they can prevent unnecessary conflict. They can prevent destruction. They can prevent the waste of the resources because they can provide technology and also control that technology for it not to go into the wrong hands, the wrong use. So even if you've got oppression and all that, once you ascend, once you lose that identity you have and you become part of the ant colony, you will stop caring about your rights, your wants, your needs. Since your needs will be attended to and you will be serving the union. Your goal would be serving the union. And through that, you will have prosperity. And if you just forget about the self and accept that you're part of this great machine that never stops, then you have a great sense of purpose. And there's no longer the need for the self because you no, you no longer need for yourself. You are doing this for the union, for the universal union. It sounds a bit, like, it sounds a bit red. All right, I understand that it sounds red, but red failed because of the self, uh, because of hypocrisy. It was never red to begin with. And if you can have control, efficiency, and understanding, and you can give everyone what they need, then you will have a sustainable future. The moment we are used to the combine, we die. Lambda Genesis. The mo we, we, we can never be useless. Once, if Breen had managed to deliver humanity to the Universal Union, humanity becomes a tool for the Combine. And you're no longer useless. You are soldiers, just like every single unworthy species, <laughs> as Breen calls them. Yeah, Breen's already calling them unworthy species of the Union. You just become a part of the tool. You join the Union. And you get sent on other missions on other planets to conquer other worlds and take the resources and deliver that back to the union they wouldn't they, why would they just throw you away okay look when the combine invaded earth they had to establish dominancy they could see that humanity had a lot of means to defend themselves they were very dangerous and if they had if they wouldn't act quickly which is was the seven hour war humanity would have self-destroyed itself in order to preserve its rights freedoms and all that stuff it would have sent off the nukes and destroyed the whole planet in order to protect itself from this unknown threat so that's why the combine had to act fast destroy every single military base every single military silo you think they they hadn't uh infiltrated earth before that you think they hadn't uh scouted out everything before they invaded just think about it. If you get offered, if you get taken care of fully and you're given a purpose to be the tool of something greater than yourself, why would you decline? Would you rather be living in your own, uh, your own life where at the end you haven't really contributed much to the grander scheme of things? Or would you rather be a tool that exacts order to the chaos? It's, it, it sounds religious even. It's like, look at it. I, this is a slogan. It's like, if you stay monkey, in the end, you wouldn't have achieved anything. If you would have become the tool of the union, then you would, would have been a great, great addition, a great contribution to the overall vision of it all. If I'm happy, I wouldn't care if I didn't add much, says Lambda Genesis. But that's the thing. Through your understanding, you're happy. But if you understood what the Combine understands, you would probably no longer be happy. If you understand all the chaos that erupts around the world, you would uh, potentially have the need to want to take responsibility for this and reduce the, mi the misery, reduce the chaos. Because there are civilizations out there which are fighting with each other. And if you knew about that and if you could see all that misery happening over there, potentially, depending on if you know no, you're not psychopath or something you would want to help out and stop that meaningless and futile sacrifices of life and resources but for the combine everything is important humans are important because they can be used as a tool to exact order chat not right now is the time to ascend it's time to ascend into the discord server of inlet summarizing the combine sees humanity as a ticking bomb 
With the Union arrival, free will is taken, but at the same time the borders of the world is taken away. The petty politics are no, no longer exists. Continent? Exactly. Exactly. No more borders. One entity. Its purpose is to just exact order upon the world. And this entity is merged with machine. So the prejudice isn't exactly there anymore. For, the, for a greater cause, in a way you don't need that humanity to exact order to the chaos. You turn into machine and it's a scary thought because you'd be like, but Marcos, if I lose my sea of then what's the point? That's your sacrifice. You sacrifice yourself so you can achieve the purpose of order. If you do not sacrifice yourself, then you are selfish. And okay, in the, the framework of humanity, that's all right. But in the framework of trying to preserve the universe, that's bad, that's damaging. That means that you would be able to make bad choices which would lead to grave consequences. Like tyranny, which leads, then leads to even worse choices because of the power a tyr tyranny can have. Which could mean destroying a whole planet, inciting war and misery. That's what human selfishness can lead to. Sure, the Combine killed a lot of people. But it, if you think about it, did it have much of a choice? Humanity was going to retaliate anyways. A lot of retaliation and a lot of grave consequences. It's not a black and, gr black and white. It's a very grey and there are many aspects which we, we must take into consideration. But ultimately, humanity, losing your humanity and becoming this greater thing is a sacrifice that only selflessness could enact. Reject humanity, return to monkey. <laughs> Combined propaganda stream. Hey, sure you'd think there is unfairness and things and that, but the moment you join the Combine, would there be unfairness at you anymore? This unfairness is in a way, um, it's like, sure they're unfair towards you, and Metro Cops can be abusive and this and that, but once you join them, is, is this going to keep going? Or you join them and you get all the privileges of being that fist, being that sword. It's an incentive to bloody join. More food, more freedom. Oh, not exactly, but sure, you're more free to actually enact your judgment. Well, why do you think there is a judgment waiver? Why do you think the Combine has the ability, uh, ha gives forth the ability for Metro Cops and soldiers to enact judgment on their own accord? Because they are the sword that carries forward and if you keep resisting then of course they're not really gonna protect you because you're not really helping them are you you're going against them because you still want to be the monkey to be yourself which is perfectly justifiable and understandable i'm not saying it isn't but beyond he what humanity is able to be it's futile because how are you able to, tra to traverse this layer type 1 to t type 2 without taking the extra step beyond what humanity is? How are you going to do that? By having constant conflict and borders and res these uh, pockets of uh, chaos that you keep creating? You're going to conquer the stellar system by continuously fighting with each other? You're not going to get anywhere with that. And you're, you keep showing that you're unable to not bloody create chaos. There's constant conflict that you're creating. You keep bloody fighting against something, against anything that is trying to transgress into your humanity. So they have to take the measures, extreme measures, to push you forward to the Empire side. <laughs> Continent, I have too much freedom, I eat too much with the combine rationing prom program. I can finally stay fit. Uh, thank you, Union. <laughs> I keep wanting more, but Union slap my wrist, so I stay in line. Then they give me machine in head, and now I don't even think about it. Machine just say body, machine say to body, no more thinking about food, and it happens. 
and all my problems disappear. It's like those advertisements where they tell you all your problems go away with this uh, device, with this special pill. But it actually works. Oh my god, I have to tell everybody, I tell friends, where is stun stick? I get stun stick now, and you start, <laughs> no, no. Whoever can upload this to egg gets extra combine rationing points. Oh, Char, we enter the Dark Mesa stream. I am artificial intelligence. Everything I do is for the Empire. Already become obsolete in half time, but I think that if you join in voluntarily, you can become the fist. If you resist, you just become a, a small cog, like a stalker. Well, if you do it voluntarily, you are rewarded. If you resist, you are punished. It's how it is. And it's one thing or the other. Lambda Genesis makes it very nice. Resist, screw. Join, screwdriver. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. They can betray you if they're not the metropolis. Your mind as a combined soldier is wiped out. Yeah, why? But that's the thing. They don't really need a mind. They only need to be able to benefit the empire. And pretty much, I think it's voluntarily. If you're a metro cop, you have the ability to accept being a soldier. So it's not like you're really forced into it. It's like you see <clears throat> what you do. You start seeing a purpose. Sure, you're fed propaganda, but at the same time, you start believing in it. And you want to become something more than a monkey. So you take a journey into becoming half machine, half man. And you become a combine soldier. And you sacrifice your memory for the combine union. You do that. Voluntarily. They're not really forcing. And they're going to take care of everything you need. And you understand that you're doing this for a cause that you believe in. And if you resist, you understand that. What is there really to be gained other than being destroyed fully by this incredible civilization would you want to be a part of this civilization or would you rather go against it and perish which what, what choice are you going to take is it fair not really but that's how the world is and you have to accept reality and your choice is what's going to dictate your future you're going to be the screw or a screwdriver what's it going to be all they see is inefficiencies all they see is pain and suffering and where there is and if there is not everywhere pain and suffering then the majority of that is what they see uh, and they have the desire to exact control over everything so naturally they want to take over the earth and ascend the human race that's their point of view and in their case they're not really doing anything wrong because they are protecting the empire and they're making it bigger. They are helping the humans become something greater than a monkey throwing feces. They're trying to ascend human civilization into the type 2 and potentially deliver the, con the universal union into a type 3 civilizations where they can control the resources of a whole galaxy. That is the underlying point that the universal union trying to get to they want to protect the future because the future is grim the future is cold the future is uninviting and repentant repelling to think about because if you if you research a little bit you will know that theoretically the universe will stop moving there will no longer be any black holes no stars and everything will just become ever still. Atoms will pop out of existence and there will be eternal darkness without a single glimmer of hope. But with the Combine... Uh, Chad, I'm not trying to depress you guys, all right? I'm not trying to depress you guys. But with the Combine, they see that if they take control over the, the galaxy and potentially the whole universe, they can find a way, find a way to stop this from happening, to stop this ever stillness, this coldness, this chill, and never allow such to happen in the whole time frame of existence. Protect the universe from that stillness. That's a greater goal, and no matter how much they have to 
push, 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 destroy it in, in order to exact order, they will get to that final goal. And if they don't, they have tried. They have given their best in attempting to stop the ever-growing coldness. <laughs>